Hello, I am Sergei Pachomenko, and welcome to my course Politics of the Historical Memory. What do you think it is? Artifacts of the bygone eras, decorations of a historical movie, or just a garbage dump? For whom may it be of interest? For historians, archaeologists, tourists, or maybe for schoolchildren? As museum pieces? Probably. But it is not certain. However, do not rush to discount them. They would be of interest as symbols, ideas and images. They are of his interest. Какое событие, которое уже произошло в России, хотели бы изменить? Развал Советского Союза. His. Поэтому Октябрьская революция – это нынешний праздник, это праздник мира и прав человека, истинных прав человека. His. Где не важливо, как названа улица, бо вона освітлена та заасфальтована. Nevertheless, he is yet to become aware of it. Moreover, they are even of his interest. The United States and Italy are bound together by a shared cultural and political heritage dating back thousands of years to ancient Rome. He doesn't know history well, but this fact doesn't prevent him from manipulating historical facts. And this is liked by those liked him. I will reveal you a secret, saying that they are a majority. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Make America great again. Oh, no, no. Make America great again. The key word is again. The reference to the golden age, which might has never existed. Actually, it is true. Golden age has never existed. Somehow people bring it to memory. In addition, they recall it warmly. Why does it happen? We will find the answer studying the phenomenon collective memory. What do people tend to remember from the past? What and why do they forget? Is it up to them to decide what memory to keep? No! It was Maurice Halbach, the founder of scientific researches on collective memories. We will return to this figure later. In general, we are going to figure out how people perceive the past and what factors affect their perception. I will reveal you another secret. Collective memory does matter. The main thing, how we remember and imagine the past, regardless of its reality. Politicians are aware of this fact, of course. Therefore, they take advantage of this knowledge. This method is called historical politics, which means an influence on the collective memory. In order to form a certain idea of the past, so-called historical narrative, this method is often used by a state political actors, schools, media, museums, and uh, me. The historical politics cannot be determined as a good or a bad technique. It should be taken for granted. Let us take insight look on it. Are you interested in going further? I believe you are. We are going to find out the meaning of the memory studies first. I would tell you that it is a cool multidisciplinary approach. It includes wide range of sciences. Political science, sociology, history, science of culture, psychology and others. 
Hey, are you still here? If so, thank you. You will learn how different methods of modern social sciences can be used for studying of politics of memory. To have a clear understanding of it, we need to dwell into a theory. Let's view the following concepts. The social frameworks of collective memory by Maurice Halbwax, the places of memory by Pierre Nora, the cultural memory by Alida Asman, and something else. After we will talk about historical politics, in particular how it influences on formation of collective perception of the past, how it helps to form and enhance the national identity, and vice versa, how it can destroy the national identity, or be a tool for task solution of the international politics. Next, we will study a variety of memories in Europe. For instance, the narrative of Holocaust in Western Europe and the narrative of two totalitarianism in Central and Eastern Europe. We will learn how Russian historical narrative is used in its external and internal policy. For instance, we will find out new facts about Russian historical lands and other interesting facts. In closing, during our seminars and workshops, we will view particular cases of historical politics in the Baltic Black Sea region. I suggest that we consider controversial and conflict examples. For instance, memory of Soviet legacy in relationship of Russia with Baltic countries. Polish and Ukrainian memorial controversial. Historical memory as a factor of hybrid aggression of Russia against Ukraine. Well, are you ready to get started? Are you ready? Let's begin. <laughs>